Welcome to the New York International Auto Show. We're at the Kia booth looking at the all-new Kia K4. And you're probably thinking, what's a K4? Well, the K4 replaces the Forte compact car, and it also, in the Canadian market, replaces the K5. K5 is no longer sold in Canada, but is in the United States. So this K4 is longer than the Forte, and it's wider than the Forte. It actually offers best-in-class width and best-in-class rear legroom. Cargo capacity is also very good for this class of vehicle. Now, there's two powertrain options. One is a two-liter four-cylinder for the base model and the GT Line. We are standing in front of the GT Line Turbo. It gets the 1.6 liter turbocharged four cylinder with an eight speed automatic transmission. It gets 190 horsepower and 195 pound feet of torque. This is a front wheel drive model. So why is the K5 discontinued in the Canadian market? Well, this is a great example of differences between Canada and the United States. Americans like larger vehicles typically than Canadians. Compact rules when it comes to sedans in Canada and midsize rules in the United States. The sales of the K5 in Canada were not strong, so they're focusing on this and they think because it's bigger, it'll appeal to maybe both potential buyers. Now this GT Line Turbo model has some unique features it gets the small Q projector LED headlamps. It also has high gloss black exterior accents where as the base model or the GT line will get a matte black finish. Standard 16 inch wheels available 17 inch and the GT line turbo rides on 18 inch wheels. So the one thing about Kia is when they come out with new products, they go all new. This isn't an evolution of the Forte. It's a brand new product, and they really push hard on innovating and certainly on style. So what do you guys think of the look of this? I think it has kind of an upscale look to it. It doesn't look like an economy compact car. It looks yeah. like it might even be a premium car. So futuristic looking right below. Tell us what you think. Yeah, I think it is a real modern design. It's quite sophisticated looking. When you look at the rear, it has a fast back style to it. When I spoke to the product planner, it has a regular trunk, but it does give you that fast back design to it. Now we mentioned the two liter four cylinder base model. It has a CVT and it gets 147 horsepower and 132 pound feet of torque. Now there is one feature that's unique to this GT Line Turbo. It gets a multi-link rear suspension. So the GT Line Turbo model has some unique features. You've got this two-tone color option, the GT Line Turbo badging. I really like the mix of materials that Kia went with in this model. There is some hard plastic. It's not all soft touch materials, but this nice display here, it really breaks up the look of the interior really there's no high gloss black trim which is a real treat you've got a traditional shifter here which is kind of nice for a sporty vehicle some wide cup holders and then you've got a pretty good storage unit in here as well now these screens that you see on this model these are available screens you've got a 12.3 inch touchscreen and a 12.3 inch digital driver display there's also a five inch inch screen that is strictly for climate control. So the standard screen is a 12.3 inch touchscreen, but the driver display is 4.2 inches. This comes standard with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So Kia has added it on this model, which is great. You also see that this GT Line Turbo model has an available panoramic sunroof. I did ask the product planner about maybe a moonroof on other models. That is not available. This comes standard with heated front seats. The GT Line Turbo model has the three spoke steering wheel. Ventilated front seats are available as well as driver seat memory. Both of those features are on this model. There's a Harman Kardon sound system. So this is a leatherette interior. And on the passenger side, there is a manual height adjustment available for you. There's a variety of seating trims available, different materials and patterns and colors offered, including a medium gray, onyx and off-white. 
Kia says that they really focused on noise, vibration, and harshness in this model through the use of an available acoustic windshield and acoustic tires on K4 models with 18-inch wheels. Other available features on the K4 include a 360 camera and a surround view monitor. No, I'm kind of keeping my head outside so I'm in the light, but when I sit back, I have good leg room and good headroom even though this is a sleek looking compact car and there's a couple of things I want to point out in the back seat typically there's not much to see back here so we saw this in Nero you have this little catch here and you can hang your coat that's pretty clever there's one map pocket but it's only on the passenger side and Kia claims that this has the best in-class legroom. We don't have the official numbers. We'll have to take their word on that, and we'll get those numbers closer to the on-sale date. Uh, there's no recline, of course. It's a fixed back, but it's got a good pitch to it, and the seat comfort is excellent as well. My whole takeaway from the interior of this goes along with the outside, is that this is an economy compact car, and it looks like it's a premium compact car. Three things before I show you the trunk. There's air vents in the center console. There's USB connectors, but no heated rear seats. So the back of this is pretty sleek looking. Like look at this light treatment that you have almost all the way across the back of the car. It looks premium. Keep in mind, this is an economy compact car and a very clean design. Looking at it from a distance, you would be forgiven for thinking that this was a lift back or a fast back as Andrea mentioned. But here's the button for the trunk and the space is 14.6 cubic feet. Now that's not best in class, but it does keep up with the competition. Of course, the seats fold down. You can get a pass through a useful compact car. And look at this. Well, under the, under the mats, there's a temporary spare tire. You can take these home. So I think we're seeing what a reimagined compact car is. Is this an economy compact car? You tell us. Well, I'm just so impressed with the design elements of this K4. I really like the sporty feel that it offers. I mean, even the back, although it's not a full light bar, I just think all of the LED lights are great. And it comes standard with LED headlights and LED taillights. So these are all great features for the K4. Now, what we do know is that this model will be arriving at dealerships sometime in the fall. So pricing, fuel economy numbers, and then more details of the trims will be released at that time. The one thing I want to say before we wrap up here is they always roll out the fancy one, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the GT Turbo. I want to see this with more basic wheels, not as fancy. Is it yep. going to look as sporty? We'll have to wait and see. So that's our first look of the new Kia K4 from the New York Auto Show. We hope you enjoyed our video. And if you like what you see, subscribe and we'll see you next time.